Uh, right here are a couple of books. Toy Story, Toy Story 2. The Toy Story one is free. You can download that and try it out. The Toy Story 2, you do pay for. I think it's $8.99. It's still cheaper than a lot of books that are on Amazon Kindle or in the iBook store uh, at Apple. Um, so it, it's pretty good. But what they do is really innovative. Let me show you. Let me go to Toy Story 2. I tap on that. Pulls this up in Disney Digital Books. If you can hear that or not, I'll turn the volume up. There we go. Get the volume up. It's loading. And this is very interactive. You'll see what happens here. Woody the cowboy doll was excited. Soon he was going to cowboy camp with Andy. Just then, Andy burst into the room. As he played with his toys, Andy tore Woody's arm. Oh, no. So you have some great clips that are actually from, uh, they have someone read it. In the background you see some little animation happening back here on this little TV. Uh, down below you tap here and you see some additional information. You can actually record your own voice. So if you want to read this book to your child and have a recording of it while you're away on a big trip or if you're in the military having to serve in Iraq or Afghanistan, this way you can read a book and leave it with the kids and they can listen to it while you're away. Uh, so you could record your own little passages on it. Um, you can also have little paint things you can do. Click on paint and you get to tap on that. Did it record my tap? Maybe it didn't. There we go. And now I can color this picture. And there's a couple of options. I can come over here and I can choose the color for the floor. You tap on the color and then you just kind of rub on the parts that you want. And uh, you can tap on this to zoom into a particular section. There we go. Now we can make it a little more precise. My kids love this stuff. They love doing this. And if you make a mistake, you just hit the white one and you undo it. And that helps do it. And you could just rub your hands all over the place and just erase it. They, they have a lot of fun erasing that. That's part of the fun. There's also an interesting thing here, this little swirly thing, this little rainbow thing. And when I tap on that one, watch what happens. It colors everything for me perfectly the way it should be. Get back. Oops. I want to up. Oh, I'm trying to get to the there we go. Trying to get back to the wide view. And so you can see how you can just color this and it's going to do it all for you. And so they have a lot of fun just getting it to color. Even if they aren't very good at coloring, they can make it perfect just by swiping their fingers across. <laughs> anyway, click the back arrow on that. Let's go back to the story and it goes on. If you, if you tap down here on the little Mickey Mouse thing, you'll see other things like music and games. If you click on the music part, here's the interesting part. You tap on this and you get to watch a little music video and it shows you the words for this song that's out of the Toy Story 2 movie. Where Jessie's thinking back on when she was a favorite toy of a little girl. And they can learn to read by watching how the words are lit up as they go around. Click back. And there's also some neat games. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of interactivity. I won't go into any more depth on this. But there's a lot of interactivity that can be done with these types of applications where you can tie in bits from the movie. You can tie in little video clips. You can tie in little games. There's a neat little game where you kind of shake the thing. You kind of tilt it to let the, the little soldier men on parachutes float down. Uh, a lot of fun. My kids want my iPad to be able to play with those two apps for the books. I think it's a really plus thing. So the future of books is really expanding and being far more interactive. And you know, at $8.99, that's not bad. I mean, you'd pay that much for an interactive book that was real hard cover. And uh, this is very portable. They can have it in the back seat with them on a car trip. Anyway, so books, I'm excited about it. I'm reading books once again because this has made it so easy and so portable for me to do. Hope you have fun. Uh, if you have any questions about the iPad or anything else with technology, feel free to send me an email. Send it to me at questions at askthetechies.com.